What is the origin of Taraweeh? Some say that it is a bid'ah. And what is a bid'ah? An innovation or a bid'ah is something that is invented in religion that is not part of it with the intention of worshipping Allah and getting closer to Him. So some say Taraweeh is a bid'ah. And this is not true. The Prophet himself, alayhi salatu wasalam, initiated the sunnah. And the hadith is authentic. The Prophet prayed taraweeh prayer, leading the companions for three or four nights. And then he refrained, he stopped. So the companions started calling him out, O Prophet of Allah, come, come and pray like you prayed the previous nights. We like it. So the Prophet came out to them and he said, I have seen what you had done the previous nights. Had I not feared that Allah would obligate this prayer upon you, I would have continued. So listen to the Prophet's justification, alayhi salatu wasalam. It's a good thing. I love it. I know you love it. But... Because I was afraid that Allah would make it obligatory upon the ummah, which leads, which would lead probably to hardship, I stopped it. I was so merciful to my ummah. I didn't want to burden them with more obligations. So the one who started it was the Prophet ﷺ. After he died, what he had feared does not exist anymore. And that is, no one can obligate night prayer because he's dead. How can it be obligated? That is why when Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, in Ramadan, went out to the masjid, he saw the Muslims praying in groups. Three people here, ten people there, five people here. But they were not in congregation, all of them. So he ordered Ubay ibn Ka'b to lead them in Taraweeh. So they all prayed in congregation Taraweeh behind one Imam rather than being segregated and uh, um, spread all over the masjid behind many Imams. And when he saw this, he approved it and said that this is something that is good. And he used the word bid'ah. Ni'matul bid'ati hadih. But bid'ah here is not religious. Because in religion, the origin is there, which is the Prophet's doing. Bid'ah here is the linguistic terminology, which is something new. And because they were praying in groups, different groups, what he had done is something new, which is nice, described as bid'ah, but it is not a religious bid'ah that is bad in Islam. Again, because the one who did it was the Prophet ﷺ. So he revived his sunnah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.